everybody, my name of course is Cashy Cans and welcome to my advanced movement guide here on Core.io. That's right, in this video I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about movement in the new browser game Core.io. I'm going to be showing you how to b-hop from side to side like this and gain speed in many different ways, as well as some fun glitches and movement tricks that you can do to have more fun in Core.io. Honestly, the movement is the most fun and replayable part of this game and once you get it down, learning it is so freaking fun. But in the beginning, it's not very easy and it's quite tedious. So I'm hoping this video will help you on your journey to become a core movement master. So before we get into practicing the basics of bee hopping in this game, I first want you to go into your settings, go to general and enable the developer options. This will now show you your movement speed in the top left of the screen, which is very useful to see exactly what you have to do to make that movement number tick up. But if you're looking at it too much, then maybe turn it off. So to begin with, the most basic form of bee hopping is holding W and pressing spacebar. But you're gonna soon notice that you're not gonna be able to move in any which direction that you choose, nor will you be gaining any speed off doing this basic W and space B hop. So what if we press W and D or W and A and try to move and still not really anything other than a very slight increase in speed. This way of doing it is very difficult con to control and is not the most optimal way of learning to B hop in this game. Although it may be useful for taking sharp corners, holding W while you're moving is something that you don't want to do as it's as you're not going to have as much control as if you do it the next way I'm going to show you. So I want you to pay attention to my keyboard on the right here and I'm, I'm going to start off very simply by doing like we just done pressing w in space except this time what i'm going to let go of space i'm going to press d and i'm going to start to move my mouse to the right as i'm holding my right movement key and you're going to see there the number is going to tick up and we're now moving at almost 16 speed from doing that again all i'm doing there is pressing w holding space and pressing d and moving my mouse to the right because i'm holding the right key i need to move my mouse to the right to gain speed in this game it's all about moving through the air and to move through the air you need to match your keyboard inputs to your mouse movements so if you want to go left instead of going right well you start your b hop by pressing w let go of it press a and now just slowly move your mouse to the left and by doing this very gradually even if you're only doing it in one direction you will gain a little bit of speed and it's very important that when you're doing these strafe jumps as they're called that you maintain very smooth and very careful as any sharp mouse movement that goes against what you're doing with your keyboard is going to lose you a lot of speed very drastically so you could probably imagine how you could begin to pair these together to begin to ad strafe using these long wide strafes i'm going to show you how to do this and then i'm going to teach you a slightly different way of doing it this is the way that personally i prefer to gain speed in core but what you're going to do is pair pair what i just said together so you're going to press w space let go of w right i'm trying not to overcomplicate this and you're you're holding a and moving your mouse to the left and as you can imagine if you want to go to the right well then all you have to do is let go of a hold d and move your mouse to the right and if you're smooth with it like this I'm going very, very slowly for the sake of just being nice and smooth. You can see my speedometer has now ticked up to 25. And I hope you're not too confused on how I'm doing this. Again, just holding A, holding space, and matching my mouse movements very smoothly to my keyboard movements. So when I'm pressing my right movement key, I'm moving my mouse to the right. When I'm pressing my left movement key, I'm moving my mouse ever so slightly, you know, smoothly to the left. And you can see we've built up 35 speed, almost 40 speed here. Now the detriment of most of your speed is honestly not even gonna be bumping into things, although that is gonna be very common, but it's gonna be because you made a mistake, most likely by moving your mouse too quickly, which is gonna be very common when you're actually playing in pub games and running into people. Another way you're gonna lose speed a lot, as I kinda did there, is when you're forced to sh turn too sharply. As in, you're going way too fast and you kind of misjudge your jump and you have to turn a bit too fast. And as you see, if you're too sharp and too quick with the movement, you'll lose your speed. Now, another way of doing it, aside from just doing these long A and D and A and D strafes, is to do, I don't know what these are called, but shout out Cacnus, I saw him doing it on his stream. And this is what a lot of Counter-Strike players will do because that's kind of where this movement is based off of, the Counter-Strike games. So if you've ever surfed or played B-Hop in those games, you're at an advantage here. But what you can do is, I'm gonna start out by doing my regular, you know, A, D strafes. In one swift jump, you're able to do multiple strafes in one. Now, again, you have to be quite smooth with it, but you can definitely get off like multiple strafes in one hop and gain 
a lot more speed quickly as I just lose speed there. Again, this isn't my preferred way, honestly, of gaining speed. And the reason is the sharp strafes in this game don't feel as responsive or as sharp as they do in, say, a game like Counter-Strike. So I personally find it a little bit more difficult to get these more consistent. But all you're doing here is kind of the same thing. All you're essentially doing here is the same thing. You're matching your mouse movements to your keyboard movements, except you're doing it multiple times in one jump. So you're going to jump like this and you're going to do multiple strafes like this. It's kind of hard to demonstrate by starting out doing it that way. You kind of have to gain a little bit of speed first. And I'm going to show you some cool ways that you can gain speed in just a second. We can do these AD strafes here and pick up a little bit of momentum from doing it in one jump. Again, my preferred way is just to do the big wide strafes like this. But mixing in a combination of both is probably going to be your best bet for moving fast in core. Now, when you first step into a game and try to practice this movement, you're going to be all over the place. As in, it's going to be very difficult for you to control where you're going and what you're doing. Starting out to gain speed in this game is the most mind-numbing thing possible until they release trading, probably. And it's very frustrating when you don't understand how to get these hops down. But once you begin to practice enough and you can start to build up the momentum off your first few hops, once you get moving, Thing, it is absolute bliss. It really is. But trust me, I was with you when I first started playing the game. I found it difficult to get this down as well. But don't hold W. When you're moving left, move your mouse left with your keyboard. Never let go of the space bar. And just try and do as many strafes as possible to build up as much speed as you can as quickly as possible. Because you're never going to be gaining speed unless you're moving both with your keyboard and your mouse at the same time. If I just hold A here and do nothing with my mouse, I'm going to gain no speed. So it's important you're consistently, boom, mouse here, mouse, Moving, moving, moving. So I'm hoping I explained that well. I'm hoping the hand cam and keyboard cam can help you. Another thing you can do to turn corners, which I haven't really tried, is holding W and A will turn you very sharply and allow you to gain speed kind of quicker. This is something Toyopsa pointed out to me when I first started playing the game. It does allow you to turn a lot sharper, it feels. But I haven't really incorporated it into my movement yet. But I feel like the best movement players are going to be the people that incorporate everything I've mentioned into this video all together into their play style. Before I show you some cool ways to gain speed, I do just want to show you that if you do manage to get down the, the b-hopping mechanics, you are able to just reverse the inputs and essentially gain speed backwards. You can b-hop backwards in this game. It is pretty dank. And I mean, I don't want to oversimplify it or anything, but you are literally just doing the opposite of everything we explained. Again, it's really hard for me to explain how I do this. We were just reversing the inputs, literally. I want to make this an advanced movement guide and give you all the information I know so far on core, but I also don't want to overcomplicate things and give you too much information so i wouldn't worry too much about doing this right now that's just something i like to throw in for fun but if you are interested on in learning backwards b hopping just know that you can start normally just b hopping like this turn around by not pressing anything and just holding space and then resuming your b hops backwards as i surf off of that crate what even was that but yeah it's just the same as gaining speed forwards you're just doing everything backwards so yeah you have fun with that okay so one of my favorite ways to gain speed in core.io is abusing these boost pads um, and you can essentially strafe more in the air because they send you up so high so how i explained that you gain speed by moving through the air you could imagine that if you if you have something in the game that throws you in the air and you continually abuse the strafing you're going to gain a lot of speed by doing that i mean you can see here if i just go off one of these pads i'm going up three four five speed i went up to 31 there but as you may have noticed that pad i hit sent me down to 25. That's because this game is very new and some of the things in it are very buggy. So that jump pad there and this jump pad over here will give you more speed when you're going over 25 speed. But this jump pad, this one, will kill your speed if you're going over 25 speed. And there are a lot of different variations of these jump pads in the game. Some of them boost your speed over 25, some of them slow you down. So if you're playing Core House, it's really fun to just abuse these two bounce pads here and you can just AD, AD, kind of like those, kind of like those multiple strafes in one jump we were talking about earlier. You can hit the bounce pad and essentially just spam, you know, AD and make sure you're matching your mouse movements with it like we explained. Don't bump into things like I just done. D, A, D, A, D, D. And you can really gain some speed very quickly. You can see I'm going 37 speed right now here on Core House. And you've just got to manage to keep this going. And as you can see, I'm even gaining even more right now because I'm, I, I keep holding D and I keep moving my mouse to the right. And it's, it's, 
it's very simple and very satisfying once you get it down but i know that starting out it's not going to be this easy for you guys so i wish you the best of luck um a few more things i do want to show you are bounces you may have seen in the beginning of this video i rode off the stairs and literally th flew through the top of the ceiling and you can kind of like bounce off of things in this game especially stairs they kind of act like ramps i'm gonna be totally honest it's kind of hard for me to replicate right now but there are certain bounces in this game as in if you hit certain weird spots on the map with certain amounts of speed you're going to go flying into the air i've seen people like almost hit their heads on this map because they just went flying into like the right angle on this thing or this thing or something i don't know again this is meant to be an advanced movement guide but i don't know everything okay i've been playing the game for a few weeks but i don't know every glitch bounce and trick shot in the game okay i just know that if you hit these things weirdly enough you can bounce in the air just like that um so yeah have fun with the bounces it's something i've not really messed around with too much yet and there are a few other glitches and stuff that are intended to be kept in the game by the developers that i'm going to show you that you can go ahead and have fun with one of the most popular right now being this uh i guess you call it like a ramp boost on newtown you can essentially shoot yourself up into the air like a cannon and you can imagine how insane that is for trick shotting this is very very easy to do all you have to do is crouch down into this corner um you might have to spam the crouch button a little bit until it puts you into that spot there usually you have to look up but I looked down and I got sent so far. Maybe the new way is to look down. But yeah, there's basically a bunch of weird collision in this game. So if you push yourself into certain objects by like crouching into them or whatever, it's going to push you up in the air or forward. But just make sure you're looking upwards or maybe downwards by the looks of things. But yeah, just spam shift a lot. Click, keep clicking it and look upwards usually. Um, and you'll get flung up. It, again, it's a glitch. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you're going to get stuck behind this barricade here and all you're gonna want to do is switch to the rpg class and oh shoot through the wall i guess the game didn't want me to end myself today you can also do some other weird things with collision in this game like player boosts in certain spots on maybe like ramps or walls if you jump on top of a player or if you bump into a player with enough speed you're gonna go flying into the air off of their head again the, the movement potential for this game is really infinite and it's going to be so cool to see how much people innovate with this i'm just glad that you're now a part of it because i've hopefully introduced you to some form of new mechanics here in corda io for you to go have fun with if this video did help you in any which way then maybe consider liking or subscribing i hope you can now go have fun with movement in corda io this game does have a lot of issues but one of the most fun and addicting parts of it right now is getting better at the movement for sure but other than that go build speed hit ramps do boost hit trick shots some flick shots and uh yeah have fun with corda io guys much love and i'll see you in the next one peace